The school year is well underway, so it's time once again to feature teachers who are doing amazing, innovative things in the classroom. We call them innovative educators. We're starting this school year in the Boise School District, where some students are growing a garden that's returning the favor. It's helping them grow, too. Of course, with a lot of nurturing from our first innovative educator. In this good-sized garden grows a great bounty of fruits, veggies, and flowers. Brussels sprouts, kale, amaranth, pears, potatoes, carrots, peppers, violas, which are edible. A long list from A to at least W. Watermelon. The garden graces the grounds outside the Ascent Program building in the Boise School District. Special education teacher Lorian Oberlander explains the key aspect of Ascent. It's for kids who have had behavioral challenges in a larger school environment, and so it's an environment where they get a little more one-on-one -on -one attention that they really need. And the kids give a lot of attention to the garden, watering, pruning. Well, so I pruned them to make it to where they don't stick out in the aisle like this one. Digging. And what's your favorite part of this? Uh, probably uh, the digging and the laying down the compost for the, for the bed. And eating. Let me see if, I, if you can find a really little, yeah. really orange one. Those are so good. Like try it right there. That one? Mm -hmm. The garden is a lovely place where you can pick fruit and vegetables and take it home. Oberlander has been tending the garden and nurturing students in it since 2008. At Ascent, like these kids have really struggled in their past and I want school to be a place that brings them light and joy and feel safe. The garden is a seed sanctuary and a kid sanctuary. Yeah, that it's a safe place if you like want to come out here and like sniff flowers or do gardening work, you can do it. Or eat grapes. Or eat grapes or eat tomatoes or anything, you can do it. I enjoy the peacefulness and the quiet. Honestly, it's really pleasant, though in the winter times it's really rough. Oberlander digs into the science too, things like plant bacteria, the properties of soil, and the importance of pollinators. So we like to pl plant these uh, sing, sing carrots, or whatever they are, to make sure that the pollinators can get enough honey to protect their hives. As the plants grow, the students' self-esteem grows, and so does their real-life resume-building skill set. They are harvesting plants, they are planting plants, they are cooking food, they are cleaning up from food, and they are serving people the food that they make. And that's just so many skills right there. Ultimately, Oberlander sees many students bloom. And I've seen like the most amazing transformations of quiet, withdrawn kids in the classroom come into the garden and have tremendous leadership. Because of her leadership, Lorian Oberlander. Who doesn't like tomatoes? Innovative educator. The Ascent program is for 7th to 12th graders. Oberlander says one student told her that she tricks the kids into loving horticulture because when they start the school year in the fall, they can sit in the garden and eat tomatoes and grapes right off the vine. But then in the spring, they have to do the hard work of weeding and planting seeds in colder weather. By the way, the food is eaten in the school by the students and they do a lot of cooking with it. They can also take some of it home. If you'd like to nominate an innovative educator who is going above and beyond, just email us at innovativeeducator at ktvb.com and tell us a little bit about them. Also, educators, if you'd like information on submitting an application for a classroom grant, visit capedfoundation.org.